Hey y'all, Ileana Silver Dragon, back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable. So to get right into it, I'm going to talk to James about the camera. Hello, Ileana. It seems like the film has been exposed to moisture or something because I can only get one good photo off the film. But what good photo you've taken of Gunther? What? It's not your camera? I think you need to talk to Gunther about this. Show him this photo. But why do you have a photo of me? I'm not trying an accent. <laughs> so you're looking for the man who took this photo? Yes, I remember him. A friendly gentleman who needed help with his camera. At least we managed to get it to work and he took a photo of me. Why do you have his camera? What are you saying? He was such a nice man. It's very hard for me to believe he would do something so stupid like poaching. In fact, he claimed to be an amateur fisher. I'm afraid the man you're looking for has gone back home. He was a tourist here, like me and my family. During his stay here, I saw him do a lot of fishing around Fort Pinta, probably looking for new challenges. When you are a tourist, it can be hard to know what you are allowed to do and what not to do. Is there any information on what rules apply for fishing on this island? I think it will be wise to check what information there is. Maybe James can brief the tourists when they arrive about protected animals in the environment of the island. You know what, Ileana? That sounds like a good idea. I'm sorry my tourists have caused all this trouble. Of course I'll inform them better in the future. Give Mr. Anderson my best and apologize for the lost fish. Yep, back at the Odo Lake. Okay, the Odo Lake, the Odo Lake. Go. Hello again, Ileana. Wow, what a story. I don't think that James should be held entirely responsible, though, because, in fact, I haven't seen a single sign about the fishing rules. Would you like to help me make signs about the fishing rules? I know I should have all the material we need, but like the old scatterbrain I am, I have misplaced my hammer, the nails, and wood. Third time lucky? Could you ride around the lake again and look for it? right there. Got you. Got the floating nails. Got the sign. Great, I'll take care of the rest. Nope. Not so bad? I'm really pleased, and I'm sure my old father would be too if he was still alive. I must have inherited his craftsman genes. Anyway, could you put these signs out where they can easily be seen? Follow the map. here. Okay. And one more. Mm, 
K. Almost done. I do want to thank you. You've been more than helpful. Take this. I hope you like it. Yorvik needs more environmental activists like you. Pretty cool looking. Still gonna keep this. Um, now what should we do? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, there's a quick one over by the everyone fields. Real quick. Okay. Nope. Come on. Okay. Let's see. We're going to be doing the this thing in Everyone Fields. And then we'll start on the Nomer's Highland one. Then I'll probably go back to um, Jarlheim. Do the last few there. Hmm. Oh, I need to go to Yorvik City, too, and do those quests. Hmm? Oh, th that must be the summer house. Yeah, it's right by the burnt house, huh? Yep. Yep. Okay. Still got a lot of quests to get through. Hunger and exhaustion won't stop me. Why, hello there. I'm the famous adventurer and explorer, Nick Stoneground. I'm sure you've heard of me. You know what? I have something fantastic going on. A most amazing project, in fact. I'm going out on an epic adventure. Could you just help me sort out a small detail since you're here anyway? Great. I just need someone who can undo these moorings for me. This balloon will take me to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur beyond Veildale Mountains. I'm sure this will be a successful expedition. My expedition will be legendary. By helping me undo the moorings, you'll be part of my unlimited success and will be world famous. First, we have to lift off. There are four moorings around the balloon, and then it's up, up into the sky. One, two, three, four. Clear? Off we go. Airships, balloons, blimps, good stuff. Now it's time. See you, my friend. I'm going to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet again. Soon. Okay, off you go. You just disappear? I haven't actually looked before. Quite curious. Huh, guess he just flies away. Uh, right, no mers. Talk to this crazy ghost. I don't know why the ghost was introduced. Meh. Hmm. 
Let's have a look at the quest we have to do while we head over there. So there's the main quest, of course. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, I'm going the wrong way. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Well, token doesn't really count, does it? Anyway, 28 side quests and one main quest. <sighs> A bunch of those are reputation building, so I'll have to focus on that. Still, though. Hello, ghost. Watch where you're riding at, you lunatic. You aren't the only person up here, you know. Ghost? You could be a ghost. You almost run me over like a crazy person and accuse me of being a ghost. All I'm doing here is waiting for my wife to come home. Get out of here, ghost. Mm. Wow, could this be a real ghost? Am I dreaming? I need to tell someone. Maybe someone at Moreland Stables has seen something similar. Yeah, I don't care. You're annoying. Hmm. Oh, we must be talking to Tan. A ghost? <laughs> you didn't think I'd fall for that, did you, Ileana? Whoa, you weren't joking? Okay, I'm not entirely convinced it was a ghost you saw. Maybe it was something you ate, or you didn't get enough sleep? Have you watched too many scary movies lately? The only thing I know is that the farm up there has been abandoned for many years. Go ask Loretta about it. I'm sure she knows more. Ghost, you've seen it too? I knew I wasn't crazy, Ileana. You actually spoke to it. Ugh, I'd never dare do anything like that. There used to be a racetrack here a long time ago, about the same place where we have our wildlife race now beginning of the track is just about the same, but the race used to be longer and finished up on the other side of the South Silver Waters by New Hillcrest. Maybe you've seen the bridge by the abandoned farm up there? The bridge is often broken. The winters here are so hard on it that it collapses sometimes. I think the bridge may have something to do with the ghost. Anyways, Miss Holdsworth is quite old and probably knows more than me. Why don't you ride over there and ask her? Okay. Hello, dear. What's on your mind? That broken bridge over by Nomar's Highland? Well, once upon a time, there was a horrible accident there. The bridge has fallen in shoddy state ever since, and sometimes it falls into the river. Like I said, a tragic accident. A long time ago, the bridge collapsed during a race. I remember it like it was yesterday. Ollie Jorvik was in shock that day. How did you find out about this? It happened years ago. You want to know about who died? All I know is a handsome man with a handsome horse. The page papers wrote a lot about the accident. I'm sure there are some old copies of the Jorvik Gazette in the library archives. That's where I would look if I were you. Good luck, dear. Okay, over to the vineyard. Silverglade Manor. Come on. There we go. 
Yep, we must have to go into the manor. Yeah, yeah. Let me off. But if I remember correctly, there's a star in the manor. The article is about the accident in Nomer's Highland. Let's see what it says. A competitor was killed in a tragic accident during the competition this week in the moorland. When a bridge over the south part of the river collapsed, it appears that the wooden structure of the bridge has begun to rot and wither. A recurring issue, a source states, the man who died, one Mr. Hill, leaves behind a grief-stricken wife. The article continues. The council in Silverglade is investigating the accident and those responsible for the competition, and the victim's wife will be heard. A report will be submitted at a later date. Hmm, the councilman in Silverglade might know something about this. Okay. Down to Silverglade Village. A lot of riding around this takes, you know? Come on. An accident in Nomer's Highland? It must have been before I started working here, but of course I'll help you try to find out more about it. Okay, um, that's another time. What can I do now? I think... Let's go back to Jarlheim and help out there. Slowly and slowly chipping away at... Quest, um, Jarlheim. <sighs> okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Let's talk to this guy. Ru. Are you the one that's supposed to help me with my shop? Excellent. What's your name, by the way? Eliana? Cool name. I'm Zed. I'm the store manager of a new shop opening up in Jarlheim. In my opinion, there's way too little rock and roll in these parts. So I thought I'd open up a p shop with punk spired and clothing. Wouldn't that be awesome? I have tons of marketing work to do prior to the opening. I was hoping you'd help me get the shop off the ground. Oh, cool. How nice of you to help me. First, I'll show you where the shop's going to be located. Come, let me show you. There we go. This is the spot where we're going to set up shop. It's going to be awesome, right? Let's roll. Now that you know where the stall's going to be, we need to get started on building it. I don't have any tools here. But I know Donald the Builder has plenty of tools we might need. Could you run over there and ask him nicely if we might borrow them? Off you go. Have a chat with the old man and let's hear what he has to say. Okay. Hi there, Eliana. You want to borrow some of my tools? Sure you can, no problem. Let's see, you want to borrow a hammer and a crowbar? Oh no, I don't have those here at the moment. Angus Goldspur has them. That lazy son of a gun should have returned them ages ago, but he's probably forgotten it or something. I suggest you talk to Angus. He might be using any of those tools anyway. Get over to the Goldspur estate and hear what he has to say. Give him my regards as well. I don't want him to think I've forgotten. Heh. 
Don't worry, I'm just yanking your chain. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, what's there? Welcome back, Eliana. Been a while since I saw you. What do you want this time? To borrow Donald the Builder's tool? I've almost forgotten about those lousy old things. Of course you can borrow them. As long as Donald has agreed to it. After all, they are his, and I don't need them anymore. Here they are. Now that you've got the tools, you should continue whatever you were doing. What was it again? Oh, you're opening a new store? Exciting. I think you should return to Zed and tell him you got the tools needed to assemble the stall. Good luck. Come on, come on, thank you. Back to Zed there. Okay. Almost there. Um. Yeah, I need to do that, but I really don't feel like it because I don't like Dahlia. Nice. We're one step closer to being finished. Excellent. Let me just check that we have everything we need to start building. You know what, Eliana? What a blunder. My little noggin's not working properly at times. I've lost the nails I had earlier. Clever, huh? I think I lost them while I carried some tools home for my dad. Yeah, I was simply carrying too many things. Oh, well. Even I make blunders from time to time. At least I know I've lost the nail somewhere in Jarlheim. Have a look around and you'll probably find them. Uh... How many do I have to get? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's a star there. Huh? Where is that spot? Oh, back here. Huh. Weird. Got one. Man, I keep missing them. Two. Why did it just sound like a stall door was opening? Three, nope, nothing. Three. Oh, it must be underneath me. Oh, okay. How did I not see that? Ugh. Four, 
one more. One more. Man, that's annoying. Yay. Please make this jump. Yay. You found them? Awesome. Now we can finally start building. It's about time. Now that we've everything prepared, it's time to get this thing built. I wish I could help you, but I'm terrible at these things. The only thing I'm good at these days is music. Everything you need can be found in this heap. Just hammer everything together and I'm sure it'll be fine. I probably need to get off. Cool. Man, that's not what I wanted. Finished already? Clever girl. And fast, too. This would be perfect. I think we'll get lots of fans. We have a few things left to do. I've ordered t-shirts for the store from our printer, Daisy, who's also my awesome girlfriend. She's really good at fixing rad prints and stuff for clothing. We're going to have tons more stuff like this from her in the future. I'm really lucky to have such a skilled girlfriend who can fix me up with stuff like this. Anyhow, I haven't spoken to her all day, and I'd like to know how the t-shirts are coming along. If they're, like, finished and stuff. Go talk to her. She'll be by the cafe at the docks below Yarlheim. Let's hope she's done already. Okay. Hey girl, who are you? Oh, you're working with my sweet Zed? Cool. How's it going with the tops? It's going... they're almost done. The only problem is I don't have any ink left. This is how it is, Ileana. I, like, need to get more ink, but you see, I've sprained my leg. Things can get pretty wild at rock concerts, but you know... you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Oh well, anyhow, I've placed an order for ink and I think it's been delivered to the docks at Fort Pinta. Speak to the guy in charge of transport and he'll give them to you. I know it's a bit far, but we have Harry's ferries now. Why don't you catch a ride on one of those? They're pretty cool, and the trip is so much faster. There's a ferry that goes to Fort Pinta from the docks here. If you don't want to, you can always ride there. Do as you like. It was just a suggestion. It would be really nice of you to help me. Why not? Uh, better be Fort Pinta. Yay! I've usually just taken the one from Cape West to Jarlheim, so I haven't really done this one yet. Okay. No. It's 
talking to James again. Hi there. Are you here for the ink I'm delivering to Daisy? The ink is supposed to be in one of the barrels on the pier below Fort Pinta. I've accidentally mixed them all together, so I can't tell which one contains your ink. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll find it. Of course. Nope. 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 There we go. Talk to James again. You finally found the ink. Excellent. I'm sorry for the trouble. I'll keep better track of the barrels next time. There you go. Everything's ready. Thank you for coming so quickly. It would have been boring to wait here all day, but that didn't happen. Return a daisy and give her the ink. I think she needs it as quickly as possible. So long. Okay, since the fairy's right there, might as well just take it. No, that's not the one I need. Mm. Uh, this is the one we need. So we'll just have to wait. Hope it'll be quick. Definitely gonna have to end the video soon though. Okay, to Yarlheim. the fairy. Okay, I've taken these things dozens of times and I've never noticed there's an actual fairy worker. Fort Pinta to Jarlheim. Welcome to Jarlheim. Yeah, yeah. Ah, my hair won't stay up. Come on, I just went. There we go. Back to Daisy. Oh, nice. You got the ink. I can finally start coloring the t-shirts. I can safely say they're going to be super awesome. It'll take some time. The t-shirts need to dry as well. Have patience, girl. Come back tomorrow when, they're, when they'll, they'll be done and dry. I'll get to work straight away. Bye for now. 
yeah, that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, so thank y'all for watching. Tomorrow is, of course, update day. Um, I will try, I will definitely record. I just don't know when I'll be able to. So, yeah. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.